Today's date is March 24th, 2020. The total number of coronaviruses internationally exceeds 400,000, while the total death toll exceeds 18,000. I'm Dr. Sharma, and I want to explain why social distancing is so important right now. The coronavirus has proven to be a very virulent communicable disease since its first discovery late last year in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. Our leading scientists in disease control and healthcare have come to agree that in the current state, increased physical isolation and decreased human-to-human -human contact is the only way of stopping the alarmingly increasing rate of infection. Because the virus spreads via respiratory droplets and contact on body surfaces with membranes on the nose, mouth, and eyes, decreased exposure to sick individuals is crucial. But not everyone who is contagious or has the virus may even show symptoms right away. In fact, the incubation period averages between 2 to 14 days. And because this infection may cause severe respiratory failure in almost any adult age, critical infections may require hospital admission, an ICU bed, and the requirement of a ventilator for respiratory assistance. So here's the issue. The number of ICU beds in the USA is limited and is estimated to be around 93,000 beds. In addition, the total number of ventilators that can be used for this respiratory assistance is around 60,000. The number of infected Americans who may require a ventilator could reach almost 1 million per predictions. And that backs the theory behind this graph, which shows the number of total cases in the US on the left and timeline on the x-axis on the bottom. The first curve we see here is the number of Americans who could potentially be infected without proper protective measures in place. There is an exponential increase in the number of infections, and this is similar to the increase seen in Italy and Iran. Now here is the peak of the number of infected, and this is much higher than the aforementioned hospital capacity of being able to care for the critically ill. Remember the number of ICU beds and ventilators we mentioned earlier. However, with implementing protective measures such as social distancing to decrease the spread of the virus, hand washing techniques, making sure that you use a mask if you feel sick or just to avoid contact with those individuals who may not be able to handle the infection as well, wiping and cleaning daily surfaces, there is a potential to decrease not only that exponential explosive increase in the number of infections, but also lower the overall infection plateau which could hopefully stay under our healthcare system's current maximum capacity for caring for the critically ill. This is a hard time, and physical distancing is not easy. However, this does not equate to social isolation. With today's technology, loved ones, friends, and family are just an audio or video call away. We are fortunate to have the ability to contact our loved ones. At the current time, it is imperative to continue to contact and show one another how much you care. Good luck. Practice safe hygiene and stay safe.